2014 at South High School. Hello, everybody. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Tonight, the Red Wings host De Pere in, in really a big game for both teams, Chris. De Pere comes in 3-1, and one, South 2-2, two and two, but when you talk playoff implications, it's wins in conference. Yes, it is, and it is a playoff game as far as I'm concerned, Marty. This is a playoff-type atmosphere here today. This is South's last home game. Don't get me started with this schedule with three road games to finish your season, but that's what South has to face. It's their last home game. It's only September, and it's playoff uh, type atmosphere. I think De Pere comes in as a little bit overrated, and I think South is a little bit underrated, and I expect an extremely great game. Speaking of schedules, when I was looking at the Pierce schedule, they finished with three conference home games in a row at the end of the season. I thought, boy, oh boy, that doesn't seem right either. No, it doesn't. And if you think about the victories that the Pierre has, they're over some of the uh, the lighter weights in the, in the in the conference. They've beaten North, they've beaten West, and they they did beat a Pulaski. Or excuse me, they played East, and then they beat Pulaski. And East, as we saw a couple weeks ago, isn't like a juggernaut by any sense of the imagination. Uh, but they only won that game by five, and that's a team that beat North a couple weeks ago. North, uh, South, on the other hand, has played a little more of a rougher schedule, but when you look at South's overall uh, schedule, this is the type of game that you got to win, especially at home. Emmett Kulik is a starting quarterback for uh, De Pere. He broke a collarbone, uh, I think, a week or so ago, catching a pass from the other quarterback. He's out for the year, so they'll be going with uh, Cole Rungi starting at quarterback tonight. Yeah, and Emmett's a really good athlete. I was telling Marty before the show started tonight that he's a two-time all-conference baseball player. I mean, he's a great athlete. He likes. He's got a really good arm, and he can run. And... Uh, Basically, it looks like just over the stats that Rungi's basically doing the same thing. It's more of a run-pass thing. I mean, he likes to carry the football, too. So you got to be aware of, of both things coming from the Redbirds. When I was going through the stats last night, getting my notes together, I noticed Rungi is uh, 27 for 47 passing. He's uh, run the ball 24 times for uh, over 100 yards. He's averaging about six per carry. But their main running back is a kid by the name of uh, Andrew Rose, so we're going to want to pay attention to him. Yeah, not as good as the running back we'll talk about in a little bit, but he... Are you going to talk about that guy? <laughs> but he does, he is in the top of the conference, and I believe in the top five in the conference and rushing and things like that. So he is a load and something that South's defense is going to have to focus in. So you got to, like I said, worry about Rungi with the, you know, ob obviously keeping himself or giving it to the, this kid Rose. A couple of weeks ago, maybe less than two weeks ago, but they had a nice article in the paper about the balance on offense for Sheboygan South. And uh, Tyler Gunther has uh, been a good uh, quarterback for South. He's thrown the ball quite a bit, has a lot of yards, and that really balances out, forces the defense to uh, not be able to uh, just focus on Boris Ristovojevic, who I know you're going to give us some stats on. <laughs> well, well, let's talk about... Uh, Tyler first. He is having a very good year. He's a junior, taking over for Robert Hoffman last year, who's here, by the way, tonight on homecoming night, uh, here to cheer on his his, his ex-team. But uh, he has done a very nice job. You never know what to expect, especially from a junior coming into the season and replacing a good one like a Huffman. And uh, he has shown that he could do it. He's got a lot of receivers. They throw to a bunch of guys tonight. Uh, Harrison and Selk, and they like to use their tight ends a lot. Uh, and they like to use... Uh, whatever this kid's name Boris is, out of the backfield a little bit too. That'd be Boris Ristovoyevich. Repeat it. that. You love to roll uh, Ristovoyevich off your tongue, but he, he does show a lot of balance. One of the guys that I like coming out of the backfield for uh, South and catches a lot of passes, he's also a type of an H back, you know, blocking back is this Mason Prunick. I thought he did a good job for him. Yes, and they've, you know, like I said, they do catch some passes and things like that, and he, his main job, of course, is to, to block for Boris Rusevojevic, which, for those of you that don't know, did get selected, as we told you a couple weeks ago, is on the finalist list for the running backs. Now he's a semi-finalist for it, and which is a great accomplishment. Only 16 running backs in the state get an opportunity to win the running backs award, and that's quite a great honor for someone here at Sheboygan South. Yeah, Crazy Lakes Hirsch Award. Uh, we got just a couple of minutes left here, actually less than a minute, Chris, but uh, we've talked about this in other openings. Turnovers are huge. And, uh, you know, if South can get a couple of turnovers, it, it'll really help. I think it's a combination of things we've always talked about here at South is, number one, you got to create turnovers, not get turnovers. And number two, don't allow that big play. And here at South, they seem to, on defense, every once in a while, let, let the big play. A couple weeks ago, they did, I thought they did a real nice job in controlling that situation and, and did get the victory and things like that. And they didn't turn the ball over. So let's see if those things add up today, if you can stop the run game for uh, DePierre 
and see if we can uh, create some turnovers without having turnovers yourself, and obviously no big plays by DePere as well. All right, really nice being able to talk without the noise behind us, whether it's the band or the or the rap music going on. We're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the uh, kickoff for tonight's football game. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. See these hands? They grip the wheel of a Humvee in Afghanistan. Twelve years. Flying choppers. My hands? They're here for the person who fought in Afghanistan. I made the call and got support for my sister. Mine take care of the person who flew those helicopters. And if life gets overwhelming, they're ready to dial the Veterans Crisis Line. Confidential help is just a call, click, or text away. Bye. Jen, I'm here. OK, why are you wearing that? Because we are going golfing. I would, except I got a lot of stuff I got to get oh, done. Oh, no, no more to-do lists, no more laundry. We are going to go have fun. I mean, we've always wanted to learn how to play golf, yeah. right? So, it's playtime. Come on. OK, what am I going to wear? You can learn how to play golf with five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor starting at only $99. Go to GetGolfReady.com. Get ready to play. Simple moments are what make every day count. Hey, we gotta help this guy. Help Ricky Rubio save a life at heartrescuenow.com. America's service members and veterans are strong, forged out of bravery, sacrifice, and duty. Sometimes reaching out for help can be the most challenging and worthwhile mission of all. When you recognize something isn't right, make the call to the Veterans Crisis Line or Military Crisis Line. Dial 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. If I ride, I will know the way the trees smell after the rain. I will grow a heart so strong that hospitals will take Tuesdays off. If I ride, road rage will turn into laughter. And oil tankers will haul chocolate milk. And I won't be a boy or a girl. I will just be a rider. Trotting out on the field, getting ready for the uh, kickoff. Let's get some starters for uh, Sheboygan South on offense. Uh, Connor Harrison, number three, will be starting at a wide receiver spot. Tyler Gunther, number seven, will be at quarterback. Sam Self, number 10, at a wide receiver spot. Mike Miller, number 16, will also be at a wide receiver. Number 25, Mason Prunick is a H-back, tight end kind of guy. Boris Ristovoyevich, obviously, at running back. And then in the line, it's, uh, this group did a great job the last time we were here. Dylan Callahan at center. Josh Becker and Cody Zimmerman are the guards. Evan Horan and Silas Brunn are the uh, tackles, and uh, it's a pretty good group. Callahan, number 50, Becker, 51, Zimmerman, 52. Evan Horan, 71, and Silas Brunn, 76. I know we mentioned a couple weeks ago about Dylan Callahan. I mean, it was rainy and the wind was shaking, and you know, there was no problem between the center and the uh, quarterback. And I even talked to Coach Hines, we were talking to Coach Hines after, and he said, yeah, that's something we used to have a lot of problems with. And considering the conditions that day, it was unbelievable. And our national anthem.
Wade Heinen, the director for the uh, South High Band. We, uh, some fireworks, Chris. Wow. And the game hasn't even started. Yeah, really. I'm going to go through the crew also tonight. Scott Mailoff is our director. You can expect to see quite a few uh, replays tonight. Richard Barton is on camera number one. That's the top camera giving you that shot right there. Eric Wiesman is on the field camera. And we have two student al helpers, uh, Tyson Reese, a junior, and Madison Brown, a sophomore. Those two kids are in uh, Professor Mailoff's broadcasting class. <laughs> Now we said a couple weeks ago, it's nice that uh, we get opportunities like that for these young people to... Somebody's going to have to replace us, Marty. Yeah, somebody's going to have to replace you next week. I already got a replacement, I think. Okay. I don't want to reveal the name just yet because it's not uh, official official, but I think I do. Yeah, I have my brother coming in from yeah, Colorado up? Springs. Well, I wasn't going to ask you that. Oh, that's all right. And uh, Family, family, family duties. Thing. And, of course, my mother doesn't look at the football schedule when she decides to have a family get together on a Friday night. <laughs> it's hard to believe homecoming. She didn't last care summer. what you thought when you had when she threw your uh, Christmas <laughs> or <laughs> birthday party either. <laughs> no, that's, that's true. That's true. Well, as we mentioned, De Pere comes in 3-2, and 3-1 and one in league. They beat East, North, and Pulaski. They fall into Bayport and Notre Dame. South comes in 2-3, two and three, but 2-2 two and two where it counts. Four games get you into the playoffs. As we mentioned before, three road games after this for South. So this is one we'd really, really like them to, to take care of. We haven't talked about this uh, very often, Chris, but uh, you like to think that homecoming being a special deal, you know, the kids are a little more fired up, but I know coaches sometimes view it as a distraction. Yes, it is, and there's lots of things going on and lots of events, and you got your pep, pep rallies and all this other stuff. And this is where it counts, though. And just what, what we don't want right away is Connor Harrison kicking it out of bounds. And uh, I believe uh, they will get it on the 35. Now, last week we were done, Marty, at 9.15 or 9.20, was it about? 9.25? Let's see if that happens today. <laughs> I don't think so, the way those two teams ran it. Yeah, yeah really. Saw. I'll tell you, doing stats last week was real easy, too, because there wasn't anything to fat figure out in the passing columns. Everything was uh, run, run, run. For uh, KL, and you know, we saw Kohler, Luther, and Christian against Howard's last week. Well, here we go. Cole Rungi, number one, is the quarterback. See him in the shotgun. Pitch out to uh, Rose. Not much going there. We mentioned Andrew Rose, 41 carries for 400, 412 yards. He's fourth in the league in rushing. He also scored eight touchdowns. And that time, DePierre had basically a heavily weighted uh, set to the right. Now they're going heavily set to the left. Yeah, two wide receivers. Double tight. Split way out. Rungi rolling, passing wide open is the tight end, I believe that is. Uh, Seth Howe, big gain there. Seth Howe comes in at 6'3", 225, and Rungi rolled. And obviously, South sent somebody from the backfield to blitz, but nobody picked up the flat area, and that's where Howe was. 21-yard gain on the play. Hey, give it to our Rose. He's right through the middle, and there's your big play, Chris. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown. 44-yard play on an option, and uh, right decision made by uh, Rungi. Oh, boy. Yeah, I see. That's my feeling exactly. 44-yard touchdown run. Wow. Are you going to see it? could see him hang on to the ball, and then he gave it to the running back right at the end when he spotted the opening, and uh, nobody was going to catch uh, Andrew Rose. Jack Hermson 
attempting the extra point, and uh, it's through. With 11-11 uh, remaining, it's seven to nothing to Pierre. Dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? Back at South High School, uh, De Pere in less than a minute has uh, put points on the board. The big play, a 44-yard run by Andrew Rose. Wow, there was four plays. They kicked the ball out of bounds, which wasn't good. They stopped a the run. Then they got fooled on a play action, and then they gave up the long run. So not a good start. One out of four plays doing things right isn't going to get done tonight. No. Uh, picked up inside the 10 yard line. Oh and boy. Giving ground and getting knocked inside the 10 yard line for a South was. Uh, Doug hey, Williams, I believe. Was it, it was. Doug Williams? Okay. I didn't. Doug Williams, number 33 on the return. Well, here's South's offense. Marty. Yeah, they got a long way to go, Chris. They do need some big plays. Yeah, they're coming in averaging 29 points per game. Long way to go. Gunther in the shotgun. He's got uh, three wide receivers. Now a man in motion is Prunick. They hand it off to him. Nope, fake. Gunther keeps it, gets it out to about the 14-yard line. He Pro gain a six. Probably the right call there considering the uh, situation where you are. Fake the jet sweep and just try to get some yards. Second down and four. Fake the handoff to Ristovojevic, a little play action. Prunik has it, he's down at the 21-yard uh, line. There you go, first down. Scott Rice in his first year here. As we mentioned him before. A lot of the same cast of characters of coaches here. Jamie Berlin, Chris Korf, Todd Tudis have been here a long time. Jamie Berlin especially. Ristovojevic up the middle, gets it out to the 25-yard uh, line. There you'll see it. Boris with his 124th carry of the season. Inside handoff, Boris looking for room and he gets pretty much back to the line of scrimmage, maybe picked up a yard, that's gonna be about it. Boris, 6'1", 215, with good speed. Third down. About a long six. Gunther over the middle. He's got a receiver, Selk, on the catch. There's a three-sport athlete. You don't see those a lot anymore, though I wish we did. Baseball, basketball, football. Hand off to Ristovojevic, trying to bounce it off right tackle, but uh, nothing doing there. They had him bottled up, Chris. Yep. Well, I think they're trying to set him up to get outside. Got to keep working that. Second and nine. Prunick in motion, they give it off to him. No, Gunther keeps it, trying to bounce it to the outside. And we get a flag fly in from where it looks like it'd be holding, Chris. Good defense played by uh, De Pere. What's weird was once he, Gunther got outside, you didn't really need the hold from the interior where that's where the flag was thrown. Right, exactly. 
That's going to be a spot foul. Last week, we had a big south win. Two weeks ago, we had a big north win. And this week, we have no win. Okay, it's going to be uh, second down and about 16. Ball spotted on the 32. Gunther tucks it down. He's going to try and run, but uh, again, a good defensive play. That one made by uh, Mitchell Miller. Well, that time Dylan Callahan thought he was, his man was already past him and uh, released the block. Well, that's the guy who made the tackle. It's going to be third down and about 13. Oh, almost uh, lost it, but good, good hands shown there. Pass on the down and out to uh, Harrison is off the mark. It's going to be fourth down. Not a bad route run there, and really not a bad pass. Just a little bit off to the left, but not uh, not the worst uh, pass situation there. Just a little bit off. It was a, a safe call. Back deep for. Uh, For De Pere is uh, Zach Langer. Kick is away. Uh, takes a pretty good bounce for South. Doing the punting for uh, Sheboygan South was Tanner Schmitz. And the ball is uh, spotted at the 32 yard line. That's where De Pere will take over. Well, let's play defense again, Chris. Yep. Oh, maybe not. We got uh, penalty on the play. Yeah. And this is going to go against South, I would assume. Too bad it, it wasn't an unsportsmanlike 15-yarder on them. We have a first down. And unfortunately, they're going to have to re-punt. Here's a replay. Who was moving? Who was moving? Nobody was moving. Hard to tell. Oh, that was the previous passing play, okay. sorry. Schmitz, a little better spiral, carries down to the 36. And uh, making a nice return for uh, the pier was uh, Sam Jansen. Jansen, a wide receiver type. But uh, picked up a few yards on uh, the penalty, Chris. Jansen had the punt return there. He's first in the conference in kickoff returns. He's also their leading receiver. They picked up 16 yards, Chris, on that five-yard penalty. They would have had it on the 32. Now they have it on the 48. That was not a good exchange. Not the start, the south coaching staff wanted Zach it. Rabbis, one of the wide receivers out here on the left. Rose uh, takes it again. Uh, that time South bottles up the middle. Very little gain that time. 7.30 and counting. Yeah, second and 10. Well, we saw that on the first play on offense for DePier, basically a no gainer. Rose's average just went from 22 per carry to about 13. <laughs> Another uh, handoff to Rose. Picks up maybe a yard, not much. Somebody better have Rungi on that too. He had that nice belly fake, then came out to the side. And uh, somebody's got to be on him because, uh, as we mentioned in the opening, their quarterbacks like to keep it just like uh, Gunther likes to keep it for South every once in a while. Yeah, long. exactly. Third down and eight. S middle screen and a good read that time. Making the play for South was uh, Alex Feudner. Futsy on the play. Stathis uh, had a running back screen, I believe it was number 10. 
Watch this. All the south guys go, but watch Feudner reading it, reading it, reading it. And he's Boom. the only guy there, and no DePierre blockers got him. Uh, it appear looks like they're gonna punt here, yep. Kick is not a very good kick. It does get a little bit of a bounce, but not much. South is gonna get it near the 25 yard line. That's not much of a punt, Chris. Yeah, Rungi's their punter. He was fourth in the league in punting. And, uh, that doesn't help the average. Yep. Self's right up there. On ball already, Marty. Gunther at quarterback. To his uh, right is Boris Ristovoyevich. We got Prunik in a slot back position off to the left. And Prunik Good leading roll. the blocking. Gunther. Voids one tackle before he's finally run out of bounds. Near the 45 or 46 yard line. That was about a 20 yard pickup, Chris. Where was the De Pere defense on that one? Matter of fact, the defense was so out of position, Prunick didn't have anyone to block. Watch him lead it out there. Yep. Where am I, who am I gonna block? <laughs> yeah. Well, after he got out of bounds, ball is spotted on the 46. That was a 21 yarder. Prunick in motion. Hand off to Boris. Well, oh, yeah, they're going to get a get a penalty. It was a holding call. Prunick is going to get the hold. And a late hit out of bounds. Well, we're going to have to sort Our this out, mask. Chris. Yep, this is going to be... Uh, I think we're going to have offsetting penalties. Hey, it'll be a replay of first down. Again, the ball spotted on the 46 yard line. <laughs> Jonathan Wildman turned back to the official and said, Hey, 25 is holding me. And the official threw the flag. Boris trying to bounce it outside. A good defensive play made out there. That one was made by uh, Nick Ofai. Boris lost yardage on that play. Not a lot of room for him to run. Nope, they're bottling him up pretty good so far. And is the case. Uh, obviously, anybody who plays south, that should be yeah, the number one main focus. focus. You're right. Good block by Boris. Gunther rolling, throwing, pass is incomplete. Gonna set up about third and about 13. Gunther with a lot of pressure there. And again, throwing across the body. I was just gonna say that, Chris, that's a hard throw to make when you're running that in that direction, you're a right-handed thrower. Especially when a white shirt is chasing you. <laughs> exactly. Over to Boris, does a good move on one uh, attempted defensive player and he gets it up over the 50 and he's knocked down at the 49, but that's uh, not gonna be enough. Well, An eight yard gain. Well, hopefully with a good punt here, they'll flip the field. Man, these guys are right up on the line, Marty. There's, <laughs> there's no messing around. Yeah, really. Can't put your head down for a minute. Grawl, one of the guys back, along with Jansen. Good Jansen one. makes a fair catch inside the 15 yard, or right at the 15 yard line. Well, with 4.23 left, 35 yard punt. Not too bad. Nope, flipped the field a little bit, Marty. A little bit and got some good hang time. Did you hear the latest from MLB? They fired the manager and the assistant coach at Arizona. 
but now they hired Trammell back to do the coaching for the last three games of the season. Oh, that's weird. Uh-oh. Quarterback on the loose, and it's another big game. And he finally get him down at the 35-yard line. That was Cole Rungi showing the wheels, Chris. Oh, man. Just said we flipped the field, Marty. Yeah, and they just flipped it right back. Almost a 48-yard run. What was the first big touchdown? 44, 44. right? So a 48-yard run and a 44-yard run. Forty-eight yard or eight, Chris? And he's the backup. Yeah, he's the backup, is right. Hammond Kulik, regular starter, not hurt Rose for the year. Dances through the middle of the line for a pretty good gain. It's going to be second down and about six. Luke Nystrom over here, 6'3", 280, number 66. He's been laying some wood on south. A long pass. Wide receiver out there. I think he was out of bounds. Rungi with a good throw, though, Chris. He showed a good arm. And I think the receiver was uh, Sam Jansen, but uh, Pasco is incomplete. Third down. There's 3.33 left in the first quarter. DePierre on top, seven to nothing on the strength of a 44 yard touchdown run by uh, Andrew Rose. Handoff goes to uh, CJ Strathis. Number 10, his first carry of the game. And he came pretty close. He did get a first down, Chris. Yep. He's their uh, fourth leading rusher. And uh, he just nailed off about eight, nine yards. Yeah, we'll give him an eight yard gain on that, how's that? And it's first down at the 25 yard line for DePierre. They have uh, haven't had too much trouble moving the ball so far. Deep pass, uh -oh. wide receiver, wide open, makes a great catch. Zach Rabbis beat the defense, and uh, Rungi put it right on the money, Chris. Boy, oh boy, that looked easy. Well, you got Austin, no, you got Bowman over there, 5'9", against Rungi, 6'5". Yeah. Or Rabbis, excuse me, Rabbis, 6'5", junior, and... Uh, he didn't need to use his height. No. He just used his legs. Just used his arm, his hands. Ball was laid right in there. All he'd do was catch it. And a penalty on the uh, extra point attempt. Rungi has completed three passes, Chris, all to different receivers, so he's spread it around. They're going for two on the south penalty, got him a little closer, and we get another whistle. Now it's gone five yards the other way. And now let's go for one. This is one of the rules I never understood. South committed a foul, you lose one yard, but you commit one, you lose five. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I understand. I'm just, I know, I'm I know. just go, go joking I about it. I'm just, just having fun with it. You're having too much fun. <laughs> Sprinting off the field was Derek Wagner. Derek, 6'1, 190, defensive tackle. Opting for a little more quickness. 
to try and block it. Matthew Kittleson in there. And the kick was no good. So, 3.07 left to appear on top, 13 to nothing. Foster care. Just being there makes all the difference. That was Chris after work <laughs> today. <laughs> Woke up just in time to get to uh, South High for the broadcast. Which one was me? <laughs> you were the overweight one. <laughs> By the way, you had a pretty nice uh, year at tennis, but I could see you're slowing down. <laughs> Squib kick. Oh Oops. boy. Pick it up and run. Well, I don't think uh, I don't think AJ Gutierrez got to the uh, 20 yard line, Chris. Wow. Wow. I don't know if it's the pier or South just looks They don't look fired up. Just not right. Things just aren't right so far. Fortunately it's Still the first quarter and three minutes left. The second possession by uh, DePierre was uh, stopped thoroughly by uh, South's defense, and then they came around this uh, possession and uh, did pretty good. Ristovojevic got around the corner but gets uh, driven out of bounds at about the 25. Spotted on the uh, 24. Second down and about five. Nice play. Nice lob pass. Prunick makes the catch and gets dumped at the 35. Good fake there by the Red Wings. Maybe a little too much air, to air on the ball. Could have got your receiver hurt as he gets upended on the other end. First 10 at the 35. That's something you probably won't see tomorrow at the dance, so what else is new? Yeah, really. Timeout, uh, Sheboygan South. Gunther didn't like what he saw out there, so they called the T.O. Probably a good call, Chris, don't you think? Yep. Next week, we're going to be at uh, Sheboygan North. Homecoming uh, for them, right? Yeah, homecoming for them. They host uh, Green Bay East. We had a chance to see them over here at South. We'll get to see them again. And uh, Chris mentioned uh, earlier in tonight's broadcast, he will not be there. Uh, you can call uh, Kerry Coulter at WSCS if you want to be the uh, color commentator. Hey, I got an email today, or yesterday, from Ben Lipom. He wants to do TV with us. All right, great. Yep, he graduated last year, correct? I believe so. Oh. Ristovojevic breaks loose, gets it up over the 45. Big gain for Boris. He's a basketball manager at Lewis University, and he sent me an email, and he actually complimented us. Here's a nice replay of Boris, and said he'd like to, when we do some Luther games, give him a holler, and he'd like to... Do some uh, hey, announcing. He could, he could do some north-south games, too. Either you or myself yep. will run out to the concession stand when he's yep. in the booth. Gunther avoids a couple of uh, De Pere tacklers and breaks loose for a big gain. Wow, that could have been about a three- or a four-yard loss, and he was able to slip tacklers and uh, pick up valuable yardage. Or we could get a third, third mic, too. Could have a... Three man yeah, crew. Three man crew. I don't know, there wouldn't be enough time, wouldn't be enough space for you to talk, Chris. That's all right. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Inside handoff, Ristovojevic has to bounce it to the outside, and he's taken down at the uh, 47. DePierre making some good defensive plays. Under two minutes in the first quarter, which is, seems like an eternity of a quarter. Yeah. Third down and about seven. Gunther looking, has Harrison, goes off his fingertips. He was open, just didn't make late the catch. Late flag, Marty, real late flag. Legal man downfield. Well, you'd think if it's on salt, they're gonna decline it, get the ball. Silas, run I think was downfield. The legal field, man downfield on salt is declined, so it just goes as an incomplete pass. It's gonna be fourth down. That wasn't Brun, I apologize, it was not him at all. I think it was Evan Moran, the sophomore. Schmidt's uh, gonna do the kicking again for uh, the Red Wings. Good kick, fair catch is called for and made at the 15 yard line. Jansen on the uh, fair catch. See. Him way too much tonight, Tanner. Yeah, exactly. Good point. He's a good pitcher this summer on the U16 team. But uh, he'll be a varsity material next year, I would oh yeah. think. Oh yeah, he'll help uh, Coach Craig. Place too. And uh, but three punts in the quarter. We still got him in a 28 left, Marty. Mm -hmm. Ran out of lines, Chris. Just seems like a lot of plays. And it, they really haven't thrown a lot either. I've only got them for four passes. He's hit on three of four. Rungi doing a good job in uh, taking over the starting job for Kulik, who's injured. Rose breaking loose again. Big yardage all the way out to the 35-yard uh, line. That's about a 20-yard gain. Boy, oh, boy. He's going to have 100 yards in a quarter, Chris, if they don't start stopping him. Sixty-six, seventy yards so far, Chris, this quarter for uh, Andrew Rose. And, uh, oh, tripping and falling was uh, Cole Rungi. Sure about that? There was a lot of red shirts in the way. Maybe just fell. <laughs> See, that time I thought... His average went from 48 per carry down to uh, 24. Now right here, Marty. All of a sudden he looks upfield and... Oh my gosh, oh forget it. Just there right. was a guy coming up there. Coming up to make the stop for South was uh, Matthew Kittleson. I think they should give him credit for the tackle. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Wheel Going route. deep. He's got a receiver out there. And knocked down. Good defensive play made out there by Kittleson. It's always good when you can say the same name twice. Back-to-back -back plays, making plays. Just a sophomore. Third down. Do they got 11 guys out there, Chris? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Harrison uh, came off late. Another deep pass. A leaping attempt is made, but uh, he was out of bounds. Going to be incomplete again. And these last 30 seconds aren't going away. It's like a quarter that won't end. 19.8 seconds left. It's fourth down and 10. Interesting formation here. K 
Kick is away by Rungi. Ball gets, uh, takes a pretty good bounce for a DePierre before it's finally uh, downed at the 31 yard line with 10 seconds left. South will have it. I'm gonna spot it on the 31 yard line. South will have it. Got wide receivers, two off to the left, one to the right. Handoff, no, a fake handoff. But they do pass it to Prunick, and he gets knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard uh, line. Well, I'll tell you, Gunther got hit real late. He's been getting hit late a couple times. Be interested to see if they call something there. In the NFL, that'd be personal fouls. It's a 15-yarder. Ristovojevic looking, looking, and he gets stuffed in the backfield back to the 44. Loss of two. Hey, we are done with the first quarter. Chris is timing it out. It was a long quarter, maybe too long. Are you connected? If you don't have access to internet, you aren't going to be able to take advantage of anything. The internet is essential to the basics in life, housing, health care, employment. I personally benefited from broadband because I was able to fill out different applications and I'm pretty positive that I'll get another job. To get connected, call 866-765-9118 or visit changeyourtomorrow.org. If everyone had access to the internet, people's lives would be changed. Connect today. Change your tomorrow. Hi, I'm Teresa Judice. What is nephrotic syndrome? What is FSGS? FSGS is the leading cause of kidney failure in children. Children in over 8,000 people are diagnosed with FSGS and nephrotic syndrome each year. Nephrotic syndrome affects adults and children. Of both sexes and of any race. Make a difference. And join us in the fight against FSGS and nephrotic syndrome. Yes. Please visit nephcure.org or call 866-NEFCURE to learn more. Oh, action already before we got back. Another incompletion, Marty. Ball spotted on the 44-yard line. Seems to be a lot of third and longs for South today, Marty. Yeah, I agree. And it's still the first half. Ristovojevic is a slot back off here to the left, Chris. Gunther pulls it down. He's not going anywhere. Barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, no gainer for him. I'll tell you, that line's got to do a little better job, Marty. If that's the play call, you got to hold your blocks longer. We've mentioned it before. I mean, they're just, they got the initial blocks, but not finishing the play, I guess, would be yeah, a better, better I, way to, I, to, I, to describe it. I agree with you right there. They're not finishing. Whoa, over the head of Schmitz. He's back inside the 20, trying to get something, and he fumbles it away. It's really not going to matter much. Ball's going to go out of bounds, but... Uh, Bad play there. The pure is going to get it deep in uh, South Territory. Uh, did I mention uh, such a clean game a couple weeks ago by the center snap? Well, and although it's not technically a turnover, you know it's certainly a big loss in yardage. They get it at the 22-yard line. Can figure that as a loss of 22. And uh, that would go against Schmitz, I guess. Um. <laughs> yeah, um is right. Oh, boy. Uh. Pierre had 125 yards rushing in the first quarter along with uh, 47 passing. Wow. Yeah. 
Yes. Big offensive quarter for them. Deep pass going to Heist. Robbins again. He leaps over the defender, but uh, pass goes incomplete. Well, they're attacking that height situation, Marty, and why not? I mean, you got 6'5 five on 5'9. Five, they just might as well throw it up and let them make a play. Uh, understatement, defensive stand needed right here and now, Marty. Oh, gosh, for sure. I know for it's sure. early, 11 minutes in the second, but. Uh, Rongi, inside handoff to Jansen, and uh, good play made by, uh, I think that was Feutner again. Yeah, and Williams, Futsi and Williams both in there. Here's your third and about eight from the 19, maybe two down territory for De Pierre. Knowing what we just saw from their place kicker. Here we go, third down. Big hand up, ball is dropped, and Rungi gets hit hard. And let's see who's got the ball. It looks like uh, DePierre was able to get it back. And there's a break for. Yeah, the Redbirds. Yep. Recovering the ball was uh, Luke Nystrom. Well. I'm going with that Rabbis again here. Lost a six. There you see it. And, oh, almost, almost for South. Watch him going to 11 here on a deep flat. Nope, they're going the other way. Right over the middle. Don't catch it. Making a catch was Gutierrez. Not a good play. Hey, you know, think like that when you're out there. You just go for the ball. But I agree. Gave up 15 yards. Okay, South is going to hey. have it first and 10. Yep. Got they one. held, whatever the case, Chris, yep. they held. That's right. Ball is on the nine yard line, 91 yards away from Pater. Maybe Boris can break one. They're going to give him a shot. Yeah, pitch out to Boris. He's going wide. Trying to battle forward, and uh, he does pick up some yardage. Gets it out near the 15-yard line. It's going to be about a six-yard pickup. I like them going that way. Getting out to the right. Seems the middle just hasn't been there yet. Quick sneak. I don't know, I don't know what that play much. that was. Yeah, really. I don't know what that was. If that was a quarterback is that, sneak. Is that Gunther again? Taking it? I don't see. Did you tell? I couldn't see. Yes, it was. Ball actually lost a little bit of yardage on that. Call it uh, third down and about six. Or four, I mean. Gunther is going to get sacked. He's not going to be a safety. He'll be down at about the uh, three-yard line, but uh, making the sack was uh, Nick Coafi. Oh, big rush, Chris. I got to send Tanner Schmitz back out there to attempt his fifth punt of the half. And the last one can't go over his head this time, or it will be two for the other team. Yeah, really. The nice pier comes through hard. They bump into Schmitz, no call. Probably a good no call on that. It's going to be uh, first and down, first and 10 for De Pierre at the uh, 41 yard line. Well, Schmitz under pressure got a pretty good punt away, Chris. Yep, he did. Oh, boy. Too deep again, too deep. You know what, I think I'm gonna change it, call it the 40 yard line. The official's making it tough on the stats person. Why don't you just put it on the 40 or move it back to the 41, instead he puts it right in the middle. Ugh. 
Jumping offside for the Red Wings was uh, David Yang. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Wake up and smell the coffee. I thought it was offside, but when the official's going the other way, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, I hear you. You know what, Marty? Cubs and Brewers are playing, and I don't care. Really? Cubs could be pretty good next year. Yep. But give them two years, then they're going to really be tough. Rose taking it right oh, up the no. middle, and he's going to go for another touchdown. 35-yard score by Andrew Rose. Just like that. He's over 100 now, Chris. That was too easy. That uh, option play, Chris, is uh, befuddled south. Long plays on these, too. You know, we talked about the, uh, you see him right up the middle. Wow. Eight thirty-two left until halftime, and they're running for two, and they make it. That makes it twenty-one to nothing to Pure. Their touchdown plays have been a forty-four-yard run by Rose, a twenty-five-yard pass play to Rabbis, and now a thirty-five-yard run by Rose, and uh, the big plays are killing them. And that we haven't even talked about the forty-eight-yard run that. Uh, Rungi had back in the first quarter. How many uh, total yards did you have for South in that first quarter? 107. For South? Yep, 53 rushing. He had that 21-yard run by uh, by uh, Gunther really helped, and a 13-yard run by uh, Ristovojevic. Well, the difference has been, Marty, they've really had to go a long ways, too. South he, has always had the long, long field. field right. The Piers, from the get-go on the opening kickoff, when South kicked out of bounds, field position has been totally towards the pier. Well, the one time they had him pushed way back, that's when Rungi ran that 48 yarder. And then a couple plays after that, they threw the uh, touchdown pass to Robbis. Uh, by the fourth quarter, are we gonna see the De pier sidelines? The fog is kinda rolling, rolling in, huh? Good kicks. Yo. Breaking it out for a nice return was uh, Doug Williams. I'll tell you, that's a great place to kick it, right in the corner, right Ooh. where all the defenders are. That's two kickoffs that's been right there. Pretty much eliminate any uh, east-west running. Got to take it right up the field because there's no room. Here you'll see it. Well placed, hits the ground and won't go out of bounds. And Williams taking it right up that sideline. That's a good return by uh, Doug. I don't remember. Uh... Gunther back looking, fires it deep. He's got Gutierrez out there. Makes a leaping attempt but couldn't come up with it. Yeah, he had to keep running. Um. I don't think South has been inside their own 40 yet, have they? I don't. Probably not. I think they cross midfield. Oh, no. They headed up to the 39 here. Uh, I think they got it just over midfield, and then Boris was hit for a loss back to the other side on, like, the next play or so. Oh boy. Maybe right. Taking time. A lot time. of guys are moving. Krunik getting set. Self and getting set. And the clock is running out. Gunther. There goes the penalty. Good grief. Too much time. Are they going to call timeout first? No. I don't know what's happening. Well, I know in the opening I said I thought the pier was a little overrated and south underrated, but right now that is not the case. This is not the same football team. That's been playing pretty hard the first half of the year. All right, Selk and Prunick are the slots off to the right. Gunther rolling gets a good block from Ristovojevic. Fires the pass is incomplete. 
Passing game is not what we've seen in the past, Chris. They're just not uh, clicking on all cylinders. Well, the pier is just doing, it seems like everything the pier does is right. I mean, they, their, their run blitz is stopping Boris, and then the pass defense is, is right there, too. There's not a lot of holes. And on offense, everything they seem to be doing is clicking as well. Out pattern off oh, Krunick's boy. hands. It looked, definitely looked catchable, but uh, was not brought in. It's going to be fourth down. Tyler Gunther so far in the quarter. Chris is uh, 0 for 4. Maybe those uh, homecoming festivities throughout the course of the week have been a distraction. It certainly looks like that so far. You know, this could be the biggest possession of the game coming up right here, Chris. The defense has to uh, hold them. Jansen making a nice over-the-shoulder catch at the 37-yard line. Good punt by Schmitz. Yeah, he's got... There's some positives of what's took place, except for that one that went over his head. The problem is he's had to punt too often. He's getting too much practice. We don't like that. Yep, his sixth time out there, fifth punt. So De Pierre, by my numbers, had 172 yards in the first quarter. 41. 43 so far this quarter. So they're over 200 yards already. And last week we didn't see 200 yards of offense for the game. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's a real nice crowd here tonight for homecoming. A lot of people came out, a lot of local people, and saw Coach Schumann and lots of people who come to South High School for games. It's a nice night for a game. And the uh, unfortunately, the uh, score is not what uh, we anticipated so far. Right. Lots of time left, though. Stathis uh, had that last carry, Chris, and he's in the backfield now. Rose uh, taking a little bit of a breather. Now they have a delay. And I think it's going to be uh, illegal procedure, actually. But we'll have to see. Delay. Delay. You know, if I was the peer, why don't they just throw a swing pass out to uh, Rabbis and let him go one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> And that's a 6-5 big, strong kid on a 5-9 corner. Uh, Rabbises were uh, quite famous up in the Kiwani area. There was a Rabbis many years ago, went to Nebraska and played football there. The, the dad's last name was Rabbis, and uh, he uh, was the coach. Uh, had some really great teams. Stathis on the carry again. Third, third and one. Yeah, they're delayed. Going. I tell you, they're just, whatever they want to do, they can do. Everything is working for the pier. This Rabbis is uh, Zach. The one I'm thinking of, I think, was Greg Rabbis. Terry Berkovitz would know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Rungi. Running hard, gets it into uh, South Territory over the 50 for the first down. Who's got that guy? Someone's got to have that guy. He showed pretty good quickness, Chris. He spotted the opening and went to it. Well, there was a big opening. <laughs> you and I could have run through that years ago, but I'm just saying there's a big hole there. Think we could have got our wheelchair through there? <laughs> There's a big channel that cuts through there. Jansen in motion. Here it Quick comes. Quick out to him. Look out. Good block out on the side. Jansen goes for the first down. Nice little play there. Uh, throwing the block that helped spring him was uh, Matthew Herlock. You know, be first and ten. Ball on the just imagine 31. being able to call whatever you want is working. Look at this here. This is just perfectly set up. There's nobody out there. Boom. Good pursuit by AJ 
to get there, but oh boy. First completion of the quarter for uh, Rungi. Rose back in the backfield. Fake handoff. Rungi taking it down inside the 30. Under six minutes. That means we're only halfway through the quarter. Another crawler. And it's just getting worse because the deficit is 21 points. Yeah. This team beat East by five, Marty. By five. Yeah, it's well, stuff like that happens, Chris. You, you never know what the circumstances were. Well, they also Jansen gave up a again, bunch of points. Another good block, but they're going to call a hold this time. It was a different kid doing the blocking. It was uh, eight and a one, but instead of a one and eight, it was eight and one. And uh, Derek Helmia uh, did the holding. Two penalties, actually. Okay, we got holding on the pier. And that's the call. So it's going to be remain second down. But now the ball gets moved all the way to the 40 yard line. There's going to be a bunch. Nineteen yards to go, Chris. It's going to be a lot. Rungi in the backfield. At quarterback, he's been in a shotgun all night. He gets outside, but chasing him down and making the play for South was uh, Fred Murray. Great play by Fred. 200 pounder, chased him down. That's more like it. That's what we want. All the way back to the 48, a that loss of awesome. eight. Need more of that. That was great. Good work. Maybe I'll fire him up here. Get a stop, get the ball back, put some points on the board. Oh, oh boy. They're gaining more Sweet. yards with the defense than they are with the offense. Only gonna rush three, Marty. Yep. Oh, Draw play. Interesting and, call. And uh, playing it safe. I understand that, you got a lead. You don't need to uh, take any chances. Uh, Stathis on the carry went nowhere. Fourth down. 340, 345 and counting. Kick is away. Pretty much a boomer, Chris. Wow, that was great. Ball is going to be spotted inside the five yard line, down near the one yard line. Oh my. Did you notice that official kicked the bag a little closer to the end zone? Did he carry it into the end zone, Marty? What? I think it might have been, went out of bounds, Chris. I think that's what happened. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell, but they're going to spot wow. it at the one. It's going to be first and 10. One yard line, 90 yards away from pay dirt. It's a 47 yard punt. Hey, I said get the ball back and score. We got half the, the situation figured out. Wow. Connor here. What are we doing here? Yeah, oh, we got switch officials balls. talking about it. South gets their ball. Well, oh, they got their name on it? Yeah. Yeah, each, <laughs> yeah literally. You each have south the pier ball. You so they bring their balls yep. and we have our balls. Yep. And yep. don't mix them up. Nope. Seriously. Yep. How do they work that in basketball? <laughs> 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 Quick out to Bora. No, uh, Prunik. Prunik out to the 10, puts his head down, is thrown out of bounds at about the 13. Eric Wiesman hanging in there. Four, five, <laughs> 
You know, and he used to jump after every basket. You could do that. Prunik, or is that Boris? Oh, yeah. Boris gets hit at the 10. Nothing doing. Came into the game 13th in the state in rushing, 861 yards. He's lucky to have 16 yards today. He's been well taken care of, a lot of attention. I wonder who was walking around to pier with a 28 jersey on, being the mark guy this week. Here he goes, come on. Get going, Morris, Morris that a boy. Keeps his balance enough to get the first down, I think. That a boy. It's gonna be close. Like all good running backs, just keep feeding them the bread. Keep going. You're gonna get one. First and 10, 243. Ball is spotted on the 11. Boris up the middle. Boris breaks through. He's at the 40, the 50. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45 yard line. All right, now. Wearing let, that defense down. Yeah, now let's not go back to him here. Let's have a little pass play or something. Give him, give him his breath back a little bit. Get him his legs back. Don't try to feed him the, the ball on this one. Give him a break. Let him just block and hit somebody. Good call. Good call. Prunick has it. There you Avoids go. Avoids one tackler and dives forward inside the uh, inside the 40. There you go. Give Boris a little rest. He's ready. Good pick up there. Very manageable now on second down and about four or five yards here. Second down and six. Ball spotted on the 40. Under two minutes, Marty. Under two minutes. Prunick in motion. Give it to Boris off the uh, right side. He puts his head down and barrels down to about the 30. They're saying he's in bounds. They're keeping the clock moving. Now, they stopped it, I think, because of the first. Is, he's got to be close. To, it is a first down. I was going to say it was close to that okay, first I down marker. Thumb wind the clock. Yeah, he did at first. You're right. He did. Yep, there you can see him whining. You were right, Marty, until he saw the spot. Here we go. Boris gets Jets. it again, going off to the right. Cuts oh. to the outside. Use that stiff arm, Boris. That a boy. Now they can build that. Just had to clear a little bit on that first big run. Now look at him going. He's clipping off seven, eight yard runs. Second and manageable here. We're down to a minute six. We got two timeouts left here. Boris is a little tired coming off the field. You gotta wait, come on Boris, gotta get off. Picks up eight yards on that play. Oh, right up the middle. Williams, nothing. That, that nothing there. 50 he seconds, we gotta lose a timeout. How about a timeout? How about a timeout? How about a timeout? 47 seconds. How Clock about a timeout? Running. How about a timeout? How about a timeout? Okay, 40 seconds and counting. Williams still in there, clock is running. Oh boy. 33 seconds, 15 seconds wasted. He's got Prunick, and he's down inside the five yard line, down to about the three, a great pass by Tyler Gunther to a Prunick. Get Boris in the game, get Boris now in the game. Now would be a good time How to about a time a timeout out and get Boris, get your horse in there. First and goal, ball on the two yard line, that was a Quick 32 set, snap yard it. run. Oh. 20 seconds left. Oh. Williams 18. moves off to the left. Gunther all alone. Now we get a timeout. Boy. And it's South's timeout. I'd like them to use that timeout right after the play, Chris. Yep. You know, get your offense set, get your uh, get your people in there that you want. Well, you know, there's not, 16 seconds yeah. left. They got enough for two pass plays easily. Well, you got two pass plays. You still have a timeout left, so you can pass, run, pass get three plays, Marty. Pass, run, pass. Or run, pass, pass. Or pass, pass, run. Great drive, started on the one. Applauding, applauding the Red Wings. 
Krunick has uh, been huge in the drive, Chris. He's got a uh, three receptions, nine yards, five yards, and then the big one, the 32-yarder. I All right, Boris in the backfield. I'd even try to maybe swing pass, swing pass again. That worked before, except they were still tight to that line. Take the Prunick. Gunther. Gunther. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown for South. Very impressive. Take the jet sweep. Took it right up the middle. We've seen that play before, Chris. They made it work there. Well, everybody's keying on Boris there, Marty. That was just a good play call. Awesome drive. Started on the one. A lot of heart. Boris got the lather back in the football game. And maybe some mojo. Great, great job, boys. Harrison's uh, extra point is up and good with uh, 12.1 seconds left in the first half. The Pier 21, South 7. The curfew you have imposed on me is an egregious infringement upon my social well-being and freedom. Speaking of freedom, it is preposterous to suggest that I have my homework done before playing video games. I know my rights, and you can't tell me what to do. Mom, Dad, you have 30 seconds for a response. Does every conversation with your teen turn into a debate? Call the Boystown National Hotline at 800-448-3000 or visit parenting.org. Trained counselors are on call 24-7 to help with parenting problems. Back at South High School where uh, the Red Wings have just gone 99 yards. The big play was a 45-yard run by uh, Boris Ristovoyevich and a 32-yard pass play down to the two-yard line, Gunther to uh, Prunik. Three minutes and 17 seconds it took, Marty. That's and, a quick one. And, well, that's normal. We were here a couple weeks ago. We said they need a long drive. They had nothing about over three minutes. They don't have long drives because they're so quick to the to the ball, but I'm impressed, and hey, there's a lot of life. You've woken up the south side. Squib kick is taken and downed by uh, DePure, making that recovery was uh, Ben Reynolds. Oh, Ben, and it's gonna be at chance. the 38. Ben, chance to carry the ball, Ben. Yeah, really. All three timeouts left for DePure, but they're not gonna use them. You'd think they'd do a kneel down and uh, yep, you know, get off the field with a nice uh, lead. I don't know. I chuck one up to number to the 11. cheap seats. I just chuck one up to number eleven. I get really two wide receivers off to the left. Robis is one of them. Or they'll do what you said. Well, why not run the option play? We've, uh, gained pretty good yardage with that. And uh, that will be the uh, final play of the half. Oh, they do call a timeout, Chris. Uh, they How also got an that? injured player. Well, down on the turf is uh, Brian Nice. And uh, that's, uh, well, we never liked that. Maggie Bauer, that'd be Bauer with a B, heading out, doing the slow walk. Well, hoping that young man is going to be okay. South gets the ball first, Marty. Uh, that's a good thing. They showed a little life. The offense came to life. Uh, defense uh, has done a good job. In the last possession, the possession before that, they weren't so great. Well, they but, have a lot uh, of three big plays, Marty. And yeah. I talked about it before. I said this to Pier team. Four, four big, big plays. plays. Okay. The one 40-yarder one from the quarterback didn't go for a score. But uh, I was going to say that... Uh, the Pier gave up a lot of points to East. That's why I was surprised that South was just so bottled up. And I give the Pier credit. They look good, but man, they, that offensive drive by South there just shredded that De Pier defense. And hopefully, something to look forward to here in the second half. Get the ball back and. Gonna chuck one up here. Uh, you never know. Well, why call Give it out. off to Rose. He's oh, through the line no. of scrimmage again. One person's got to stop him. Oh. Somebody. AJ. Oh, he's going to do the cutback and he's going to score on the last play of the half from about the uh, 45 yard line, Chris. Unbelievable. Hi, yay, 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 yay. Jeez. 
53 yard run. I said one guy, all you have to do is stop him. One guy, just somebody getting away. Well, he did that little cutback at about uh, the 15 yard line and that was it. South could have stopped they, Yeah, they had, they they had people they up tackles. the field. You're right, exactly. Jeez. Come on, guys. You had three safeties back, three for the long pass, and any one of them could have came, came over and pursued on that play. Uh, Andrew Rose, Chris, this quarter has four carries. He has, let's see, 80, 91, 98 yards, four carries. Two yards, 35 yards, eight yards, 53 yards. And he had how many in the first quarter? 170. So he's got 168 at halftime. Wow. Boy. Oh, it looked so good, you know, going into halftime, we just scored, drove it 99 yards, and all of a sudden it's a, wow. And they're going for two. Uh, I believe that was uh, Rungi on the carry, and he got the two-point conversion. We're at halftime. It's 29 to 7 to Pierre. My diabetes tests me every day. It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JJRF has my back. They're working hard to find a cure for type 1 diabetes, which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JJRF test themselves every day. So someday, I won't have to. JJRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes.
the band Sucker Song Dance Game hit the charts in 2012 and was originally performed by Jennifer Lopez. Tonight, the band would like to welcome our young guests, the award-winning Sheboygan South Dance Team. The dance team is coached by Ms. Carly Ryman. Here's the band and dance team under the direction of drum major Nick Cooper, cranking up Dance Again.
the South Bend to let the Davis opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Paul Wagner, and thank you for his assistance in the writing and joining the history show. And we'd also like to thank our women in the Marcy Dance team for joining us this year. Finally, the band would like to thank you, the crowd, and all our alumni who support the all season. As always, we appreciate your applause. Ladies and gentlemen, the Shalomi South Bend. You're pretty. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? It's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online, bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? The National Runaway Switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Please give our 
South Highway to a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, 2014, homecoming for Every day, thousands of community and school groups, volunteer and government producers, technical staff and residents reach out to your community through one of the most powerful communication tools available, cable TV. Peg Access produces more new local programming each week than all the programming produced by NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox and PBS combined. PEG Access Channels provide communities with a diverse, independent, and local voice. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of public, education, and government access television. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. This is Ed Hearn of the 1986 World Champion New York Mets. I remember being on top of the world. But health issues ended my career. I was diagnosed with the devastating disease FSGS. Three kidney transplants later, I'm still fighting. FSGS has no effective treatment no cure, and it's the second leading cause of kidney failure in children. As an ambassador for the NEFCURE Foundation, I'm working to find answers for these kids. Visit www.nefcure.org and join me in the fight. Usually, a texting and driving prevention ad would show you some shocking statistics, or maybe a sad family member that lost someone. They might even show you the last text they sent to scare you. But one of the most scariest statistics is about time. Specifically, the amount of time you're not able to watch the road. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. One of my most rewarding experiences as a dietitian has been actually quite recently, just a year ago, when I met Donna because she was so motivated and ready to lose weight and to get healthier. Well, since I've met Sue and listened to her guidance, I've lost about 80 pounds, and I have been taken off almost all my medications. To me, I mean, that's something to shout about. I just see the future getting better and better and better because I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. Ian Ralston was a combat medic who was injured in Iraq. When I met Ian, I knew he had to help him get his housing grant, an auto grant, and every benefit to live as normal a life as possible. And we did. PVA has helped hundreds of thousands of veterans get the care and benefits they've earned. My name is Jason Stevenson, and I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America. Changing lives. Building futures. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Back at South High School getting ready to start second half action. Uh, Chris, we did the numbers. South had 193 yards That's in the good. first half. That is good. The problem is the pier had 302. Not good. Not good. Uh, 
Andrew Rose had 168 yards and only 10 carries. He was uh, the story in the first half. Uh, Boris had uh, 15 carries for 82 yards, uh, respectable, but uh, certainly got to throw it at the hands of the defense for South. Well, we've mentioned it now for uh, years here at South. They just seem to give up big, big plays and just too many in this first half. And I don't know what happened from the get-go, Marty. It started with the kickoff and then the long pass play and then the long run and it just got worse and worse. And the offense just did not go at all until the last drive of the half. And then- 99 the, yards. Yep, and then the backbreaker with 12 seconds left. You have three defensive backs playing basically- Prevent. Big, yeah, <laughs> prevent or for the long pass. So you have three guys that have to chase one guy. And don't tell me there's blockers there because all the De Pere guys <laughs> were trailing Rose too. So, uh, I mean, that was just a backbreaker. I mean, how can you not stop him? It would have, uh, he could have gained his 40 yards. You just didn't let to have him have 53. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all he had to do was tackle him. Tackle him at the one. The clock yeah. runs out and uh, we're yep. good to go. Want to mention uh, the crew again. Uh, we got Scott Professor Mailoff is our director, Richard Bartson is running the top camera. Eric Wiesman uh, is down on the field. We have two student helpers tonight. They're gonna be flipping now. Madison Braun was uh, on the field camera in the first half. She'll be up on top for the second half. Tyson Reese, a junior, is gonna move uh, from the top down to the bottom. They are part of uh, Professor Mailoff's uh, broadcasting class here at South High. And uh, we really appreciate the help, uh, those kids, uh, Given of their time, you know, they could be in the stands with their friends having uh, fun there, but uh, they're uh, helping WSCS. And uh, Chris and I are joined doing the broadcast. We just would like some better results. Yep. Uh, you said uh, Boris had 90. 80, 83, I think I had him for. 83 yards running. My official unofficial numbers are 82 yards and 15 carries. Yep. He had a 45 yarder that. Uh, really help to uh, get his numbers up. Uh, our game uh, next week will be at uh, Sheboygan North for their homecoming. They host Green Bay East. We look forward to bringing you that game. As uh, we're getting close to the end of the season, Chris, we've got Oosburg after that on October 10th. And then uh, we finish our uh, broadcast uh, season, unless uh, one of the three local teams makes the playoffs. Uh, on October 17th, when South will travel up to the north side, right. the dark side of town, yep. and, as Dave uh, Pfeiffer would say. For you uh, South fans, they travel to Manitowoc next week, which is another winnable ball game. Then they travel to Ashwaubenon. Ashwaubenon is ranked number three in Division Two. Bayport is ranked number f five in Division Five. Kind of interesting in our conference, Marty, uh, is, uh, yeah, is that uh, Bayport, Ashwaubenon, and Preble are all tied for first. Yeah, I noticed that, all 4-0. Oh. Yep, Bayport and Ashwaubenon tackle next week, Friday, and then Preble doesn't have to play either of those two teams. So, oh, yeah, they, which, big advantage there. Yeah, yep, and uh, you said uh, De Pere plays uh, Preble next week. They're leading the, the conference as well, but. Uh, well, De Pere's looking good tonight. Well, we got a second half. Let's see if we can turn it on here. Get a quick score. Again, that uh, kickoff, uh, that one's gonna go out of bounds. They're trying to get the uh, south return man to uh, pick it up in the corner and uh, not let him use the whole field. And, uh, they did well at that on the kickoff before this one, but uh, not here. South will have it first and 10 at the 35 yard line. Well, as I mentioned before, South comes in averaging 29 points a game, giving up 27. Well, they've given up well over that already and they're nowhere near that. So, gotta have a... Uh, South, if they're gonna win this, is gonna have to get 38, 39 points, something around that area. So, let's get the bus going. Defense is certainly gonna have to uh, improve and uh, right. very Bad start here with a penalty already. It's going to be first and 15. As I said, not the same South team that's been playing the first half of the year. Now, I know they have some losses, but... Uh,
Hand off to Ristovojevic, bounces it to the outside, puts his head down and powers ahead uh, against uh, the pure tackler, gets it up over the 35. So he mentioned any opening. He's up for uh, running back of the state. He's been, uh, they've had a finals list and they've cut that list down to 16, which Boris is included in. Quick snap, Boris taking it off the uh, left go. side, cuts it oh, back, ran oh. into one of his own blockers, and then uh, gets hit after maybe a one yard gain. It looked like he had an opening there, Chris, but uh, oh. bad luck on the yeah. uh, running into his own player. The pier all flooded to the right, and uh, you watch the, the opening here. You see what I see. What well, if he cuts back right here? Oops! Oh. Yeah, Evan Horan. Unfortunate. Yeah, wasn't trying to do it. Gunther rolling left, looking, firing, way, way over the head of uh, Connor Harrison, not even close. We Indeed. also mentioned at halftime, you and I, we haven't mentioned Connor Harrison's name very much. We haven't no. mentioned Sam Selk's name very much. Mike Miller's name we haven't mentioned at all. I was wondering if he was hurt. Yeah, no, he's been out there. Oh, yes. He's just not been used. No, uh, the big receiver for uh, South has been Prunick. He had six catches for 79 yards. They've uh, directed a couple throws towards Connor, but uh, hasn't been able to uh, make a catch. Kick is away by Schmitz. And taken at the 33 yard line by Jansen. First and 10, DePierre. Oh boy, <laughs> not the start I wanted. No siree. We saw 20. Tanner's parents at halftime. I said, we've been calling your son's name a lot and I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> not that he's doing anything wrong. It's just that uh, he's out there too much. He's out there too much. 29 to seven to peer on top. Uh, the backbreaker so far was the uh, Long touchdown run by Rose with as time ran out on the first half. Pass over the middle is intercepted AJ. by Gutierrez. He's up to the 40, inside the 30, 25, still on his feet, cuts back, a nice move there, and he's knocked down at about the 16 yard line. We needed a turnover and that's just what you needed. I don't understand why the pier you come out, you got a kid that's running 160 yards and you're gonna throw it right away, but he was open, he just missed him. AJ on the interception and a great return gets it back to the 17 yard line. First and 10 south. That's AJ's second interception of the game. Yeah. He had that one down, I think it was inside the 10 yard yep, line. He nine. said, drop it. Yep. Prunick in motion. Harrison is a wide right. He's heading over the middle, looking Touchdown. for him, he's got it, touchdown. Good throw. Gunther to Harrison. Welcome to the receiving core. Ooh, that was a great play, Chris. Gotta like that. And it only took five seconds. Really? Look at this. I knew it was a touchdown right away. Just run a little post, down. Good blocking to up front, too. Look at all the time Bingo. he has. Bingo. South going for two. Quick snap, fake to Boris, and Gunther is sacked. Uh, 29 to 13. Too early to be chasing points, Marty. Yep. Yeah, you got time for that. talking about AJ's return after the interception it was about 28 yards 
that's a bit of a guess because uh, we don't remember exactly where he made the catch. Harrison, right after his touchdown catch, is going to do the kickoff chores, and it goes over Jansen's head. He picks it up at the 18, up over the 20, and is knocked down right at the 25, and uh, ooh, it looked like uh, South could have got nailed for a late hit. No flag. That's a good thing. It's going to be first and 10 to Pierre. Spotted on the 26 yard line. Right, watch 44 come in real late. Boom, right there. Fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, he hit his own player. Maybe that's why there was no flag. Good replay, Scott. Rungi in at quarterback. Gives it off to Rose, who cuts back right up the middle and gains big yardage. Check that, it was uh, Stathis on the carry. Stathis has uh, been getting more carries as the game has gone along. Picked up over 10 there. It's a 12 yard pickup for that young man. Well, we gotta get more turnovers. Maybe he'll cough it up. Rungi with uh, that Stathis again in the backfield, it is. He cuts it up over the middle and gets dumped there you go. at the 40. Two yard gain. Second down for DePierre. Seems like they're taking your advice, Chris. <laughs> Keep it on the ground. Well, why not? Exactly. South they've, hasn't done it's not much. like they, they've been stopped on the ground. Right. What do you, what do you have it have? Like 200 and. Oop. 228 two, on the ground. Two, 238, that was. 238 Sorry. in the first yeah. half. Half of that by one guy. And he's not even in the game. Nice out pass to Howe. And uh, he turns it up and gets it into uh, South Territory. It's going to be first and 10 for uh, DePier. He's spotting it at the 47. It's a 13 yard pickup. For Howe, that's his second catch of the ball game. He had one in the first half for 21 yards. Rabbis is wide to the left, Chris. And good defense there. That time, Saul's defense got penetration. Uh, Williams, one of the guys in there. And it's uh, going to force the pier to uh, not gain any yards. It's going to be second and 10. Rose is back in the game. He, he had that last carry. Quick out to Jansen, oh. and he gets nailed. It's going to be incomplete. Everything that, came together at yeah, once. <laughs> that was, that's what I was going to say. That was almost interference on his own player. Yeah, exactly. Harrison almost got in there. You're going to see it. Watch everything come together at once. Boom. You're right. Rabbis hit his own guy. Well, it happened to us, happened to them. Get off the field right here, boys. Yep, three wide receivers off to the left. Rungi in the shotgun as he's been all night. They're looking for the pass back, but good defense that time by Saul. Oh, get him, get oh, him, there you okay. go. Had a missed tackle out there by uh, Mason, but uh, he got some support. Interesting. And, uh, Rungi didn't get much. You can see the fog. I mentioned how we going to be able to see DePierre by the fourth quarter. Interesting play, Marty. They had all the receivers on the left. They rolled right, and then they had one receiver, and he was blanketed by the good coverage by the Red Wings, forcing that situation. Here you yep. see Fair. the replay. I thought it was very good read. Yep. Look at. I think that was David Yang was the guy that hung back, covered that uh, screen. Oh, not punt. a very good punt. South is going to have pretty good field position. See if they can uh, muster up another drive. 
They had a 99 yarder to what seemed like in the first half, but they left just enough time for De Pierre to, uh, I think it was less than a minute, wasn't it? 40 some seconds. They, they went off and scored. First and 10 for the Red Wings on the 30. Ristovojevic in the backfield with uh, Gunther. We got wide receivers left and right. Handoff, Boris hit in the backfield but pulls tacklers forward. He picks up maybe three yards, not much. Just a little extra push and shoving by DePierre. Quick out. Prunick uh, covers it up. I think they're going to call that a lateral, Chris, or are they going to call it incomplete? Oh, boy. I thought yeah, that was is. a forward pass. Watch him here. This is not a lateral. That's the play before. Yeah. Ball spotted on the 25. It's a loss of seven by Prunick. Once again, he didn't catch the ball, Marty. Oh boy, third and a bunch. Yep. I'd send Harrison here. Go, go. Going deep. Going the other way, Selk. Looking for Selk, yes. that's gotta be pass interference. Committing the interference for DePierre was uh, Zach Langer. Got a little too close, didn't allow the adjustment by the receiver. And new life. And new life is right. It's going to be first and 10 for the Red Wings. Where are they going to spot the ball? If it's a 15 yarder, it should go to the 40. If it's a spot foul, it's going to be up near the 46. No, I don't think so. I think it's yardage. Come on, guys. Officials working it out. They got to walk it off. Yeah, pass interference on the pier. 15 yards. Well, Come on. Yep. I suppose the that procedure is to down. walk it off, but I mean, you know it's going to be at the 40. It's not first down. Oh, no. You know, what the heck? Boris, well, it's because he had the uh, loss on the play. That's why. It doesn't why. matter. You can throw it 50 yards downfield. You can knock the guy over, and it's not automatic first down. That's a nice rule. I think we talked about this last year. Yeah. I think they made some adjustments, actually, in the college level for that. But uh, not at the high you school just, level. You might as well just knock the guy down, then. It's not going to give him a first down anyways. Going to be fourth and one. What no, you don't lose the down. It's third down. Third and one. Third and one. Okay. Yep. They did change it, Marty. You you saw it. Yep. But it's not. Correct. Third and one. And well, we're going on a shotgun. We yep. should have. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we got Round Boris. Up. He's uh, pretty stout when you want to run it up the middle. Matter of fact, if you want to run it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh boy. There you Morris go. Morris through the line. He's got the first down up to the 41. Seven yard run, one yard gain. First down. Siri gets it and where he has to get to go across. First down is right. All right, 651 and counting. Prunick in motion. Two wide receivers off to the left. Gunther looking down the middle, Selk. Right through his hands, and then the uh, the pure defender not able to make the catch. Uh, Jacob DeMile looked like he had a good shot at it, but couldn't come up with it. I don't know, Chris. They're falling in love with the passing game again. Let's uh, get it to Boris. Well, I think they're just trying to balance it, Marty. 
They're going to be passing again. Oh, Gunther keeps yep. it. Stunt goes up before. the middle, does he? Yeah, it doesn't get much, so picked up maybe three yards. That's about it. Yep. Look at that fog move in around the, the pier 30 yard line, Marty. Mike Golick was talking today about his game against Chicago with that fog game, which oh. he said was played in a I fog. remember that one. Oh, I do too. Couldn't Cam see the players. No, not at all. And that's with big, expensive cameras. Exactly. Oh, oh bad pass, pass is off the mark. He had Connor Harrison open. It would have been a first down, too. Got to punt uh, it. You got to punt it. You have to punt it. You have to punt it. You got, you're only down two scores. You're only down two scores. Yep. And we're going to bring him in now. Tanner Schmitz coming in. Gutierrez coming in. It's the uh, eighth time he's been back there. Once it was... Uh, Jonathan Wildman comes in. Yeah. Back deep to return the punt is Sam Jansen. No rush. Dropped the snap, but there was no rush, so there was no emergency to get the kickoff. And then he got a, not a real good punt, got a little bit of a roll. Ball's going to be spotted on the 27. Yeah, not, uh, not his best effort tonight. Nope. That ties his first one. His first one was 29. He's been in the 30s, high 30s. But this one, as you can see, he had to get it off quickly because he dropped it. Snap wasn't bad. Just didn't catch it. If he was really fast after he fumbled it like that, he could have picked it up and ran to the right. And I think he could have got a first down almost because there was nobody over there. Oh, Rose through the middle, spins through a couple of tacklers and gets it up over the 40-yard line. What a run. Andrew Rose. Six-foot, 200-pound senior. Ball is at the 41-yard line. That's a 14-yard gain, Chris. He has 182 yards. Rungi, remaining at quarterback, gives it off to Rose again. That time he stopped for a short gain. Picks up maybe two. Well, the clock just is just crawling today, Marty, and right now that's a good thing for South. I was just going to say, if you're a DePure fan, it's not a good thing. Third down and seven. Second down and seven, pardon me, and South jumps offside. Again, Rungi uh, is uh, drawing the South defenders offside. He's done it a couple of times tonight. There's been like four South guys moving now. That's just, you know, sometimes you get, you get one, but why does so many jump unless the ball's being twisted around or something? All right, second down and a long, a long yard. Oh boy. A lot of movement by the uh, offensive players of De Pere. Now they get set. Pitch out to Rose and South filling hard. Somebody's got to make a tackle and they do. That was a different back that time. Yeah, that, that was, was Kirby. Number, number 27, Kirby, I mean. Mason Kirby on that carry. And that I will, and a hold. Strange call there, Marty. Yes. Why Why would they do that when they're punching it up the middle? We'll take the break, though. South was all over that. Seth Howe, I believe, they got on that uh, penalty. And, Number uh, 52 for South is uh, Cody Zimmerman. Cody also plays offensive guard. Big penalty all the way back to the 37. Well, Zimmerman's been a playing, I believe, as a starter for three years, Marty. Second down and about 15. Oh, 
handoff to Rose Boy. right up the middle. He's got the first down and then some. Oh, no. He's going to go. Nobody's going to catch him. Boy, oh boy. 64. That's a 63 yard run. Well, they take him out for a play to give him a rest and then let him run over 60 yards for a touchdown. Boy. Okay, they're going to give him 64 on the official clock, so we'll give him 64 on mine. It'll be another touchdown. Let's see if they go for two. I don't like this, Chris, and I'm, you know, it's not because I think they're running it in. I, I just think you need to have a, a kicker for in a close game if you need a field goal. Zimmerman leveled. Ho oh, ho, take that. That hit was made by Zamal Bowman. Woofda. Watch this. Boom! Leveled the shoulder and down he went. Clean hit. It's now 35 to 13. Uh, Preble is uh, really befuddled. Uh, pardon me, Preble. De Pierre is really befuddled south with that uh, option play. Yep. Giving it to uh, Rose up the middle. And, uh, you know, once he breaks through the line of scrimmage, you know, well, it's, you don't know. I, he should be a track man. <laughs> he's got good speed. And yeah, he's in he football. 200 pounder, and he runs by those D backs like they're not even there. I don't know if it's the angle or the speed or what the combination thereof. Well, but, I thought uh, that uh, Nathan Dyken had a good yep. shot at him, but he just uh, outran him to the end zone. There was no. No catching him. 4.17 left in the third. Line drive kick goes right up the middle, taken by uh, Gutierrez at the 14. Breaks to the outside. He's got the... Uh, Holding. It's going to be a good return, but uh, if there's a penalty, it's going to all be for naught. Had it out to about the 46. See if we can catch the uh, infraction. It'll be at the top of your screen. Oh, missing it. <laughs> that was a good block there by Derek Wayne. Yeah, you got to follow the ball. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like the hit too. Oh boy, just yeah, one thing after another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, there's a lot you of. You were a prophet at the beginning of the. Beginning of the game and the pregame, you know, with uh, got to stop the big play, and uh, they have done anything but stop the big play. This is the 11th offensive series for South, and there's six minutes left in the third. Last week, Kohler, Luther, and Christian, I think, had 11 possessions in the game. Yeah. All righty. Gunther in the gun. Looking, throws it up over the middle. Kristovojevic. Oh, no, uh, I think no, Miller. That no, time. that was Miller. You're right. It's because he hasn't been. Well, I think he tried to run with it before he caught it. He was open. <laughs> he was wide open. Watch this one. This one. It's too bad. That's Boink. Meeting. Here we go All again. Right. Sam Selk. Looks like Selk caught a little uh, swing pass and uh, got the first down. Oh boy. Just disappointing, Marty. I had high hopes today. Big high hopes for a good game, close game. Gain a 12 on that play. Gunther rolling to the right. He should be able to throw pretty good with this uh, kind of a roll. Nice. Loft, but just over the head of uh, Connor Harrison. It's going to be second and 10. I'll tell you, Prunick was wide open and just running around out there. Didn't Never put his saw hand him, up. Huh? Never saw him, but he didn't even like act like, hey, hey, you know, put your hands up. I'm open. There was nobody on that side of the field. And he was wide open. It's like he was not even going to be intended in the route. 
Good screen call. play. Bad oh, block. but the defender for uh, DePure, the linebacker, looked like uh, Ben Van Camp uh, read it beautifully and uh, made the stop. Callahan, Zimmerman, neither of them hit anybody, Marty. Really? Watch this. You got two guys out here. Oop, let them through. 52 and 50. Right out there, and he forgot to hit the guy that was going <laughs> to hit him. Yeah. Third down and 11. Over the middle, right to the defender. And making the catch was uh, Jake Van Rens, and uh, he returned it to uh, the 36 yard line. Well, guess we're due for one of those. You throw the ball around the park. Exactly. Two out of three bad things happen on passes. One is an incompletion and two is a turnover. Yeah. And that unfortunately was uh, one of them. First and 10 to Pierre. Ball is going to be at the 37 yard line. Considering he's thrown about 160, 70 passes this season because he had 149. That's only a six interception. That's pretty good for a high school kid. That yeah, is uh, really good. Uh oh, new oh, that, runner this yeah, time. Yeah, we, had, we saw that yeah. kid run with the ball before Mason yep. Kirby, but that yep. time he found an opening and uh, gained good yardage. Kirby with a first down. Gets it all the way down to the south 22 or 23 yard line. Let's call it the 22. It's a 15 yard run. Kirby in the plus side now with gain, yards gained, Chris. He's got 14 and two carries. The replay by Scott, good job. And that time the South defense, uh, pretty stout, pushing Kirby back. Second down and eight. Rabbis is going to be wide to the left. You like him, Chris, with his height. Aye, aye, aye. Kirby takes it again up the middle. Battling forward. In the fog. In the fog is right. It's rolling in. You can see it on your camera there. The south end doesn't look as bad. You're right. Well, I think, you know, because the south end's closer, closer to Florida. It's warmer down there. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> That'll make a difference. <laughs> Don't tell me it's not closer to Florida, Marty. By 50 yards it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what I mean. That'll make a big difference. Third down and five for uh, the Redbirds at the pier. Uh -oh, Rungi's wide got a open. wide open receiver, and uh, he gets knocked down. Inside the 10 yard line, pretty close to the five actually. That was number 81 again. Almelia. Got that as his, being his first catch, Chris. It's going to be first and goal. Here you see it. Nice cushion, nice completion. First down. It's a 10 yard pickup. Handoff, nothing doing there. That was, that was Kirby uh, again. It was Kirby, okay. No gain on that play for Kirby. Second and goal. Direct snap to give it off to Kirby again. He oh, battles he forward and uh, forward. gets it inside the five. Under a minute here. That was uh, that was Rose, I believe, Chris. Rose on that carry picks up about five. It's going to be third down and goal from about the two. Thirty seconds left. I give it to him again. They will. Trying to skirt the end, but uh, good pursuit that time by the Red Wings, and they push him back for a loss. 
Well, they're going to walk to the end of their end, Marty. That's going to be it for the third. And clock running. Five seconds left. And it'll be fourth and goal for uh, De Pere when we come back for fourth quarter action. But at the end of three quarters of play, it's been all De Pere tonight. They lead it 35 to 13. This little chick has hearing loss. It can be lonely, sad, and often accompanied by ringing in the ears or even loss of balance. But there's good news, because birds have an almost magical way of regenerating their inner ear cells to restore their own hearing, so they can live a happy, chirpy lifestyle. Imagine if science could achieve the same miracle with people. Well, at Hearing Health Foundation, we support research that is doing just that. Visit us at hhf.org and learn more about the cure for hearing loss and tinnitus. Gift giving is hard. Gift giving is an art. What do you give the person who's got everything? I gave her a heifer. You're giving me a cow for my birthday? It's a farm animal. It's more than a gift. A farm animal helps families in hunger. Gifts like this change lives. Give different. Christmas, Valentine's Day, Hanukkah, whatever you want. Give a family life. It's more than a gift. It's the best gift I ever gave. For the quarter, uh, De Pere at 140 yards, South at 34. Uh, they continue to uh, pretty much dominate action. And they're going uh, fourth down and goal from about the four yard line. Rungi looking over the middle. He's got Howe for the touchdown. Howe catching the four yard touchdown pass. And uh, they continue to roll, Chris. Yep, I don't know what to say, Marty. It's beyond explanation. Oh boy, 41-13. We're getting into that uh, area of uh, running clock. Well. Give it to uh, Rose, and he runs it in for the two-point conversion, makes it 43 to uh, 13. Well, I don't think a 30-yard spread causes a running clock, does it, Chris? No. This will be the fourth victory for De Pere and fourth in the conference, so this will be, they'll be in the playoffs. Punch their ticket at four and one. It'll be four and two overall. South, if they don't come back in this one, will drop to two and four and they two won't. and three. <laughs> yep. they, they won't. Yeah. And I thought this was their due because they lost one, lost one, lost. So I thought they were due to win. That's the trend they've had this year. So. Well, we thought. Uh I don't know you and I both thought they looked real good when we were here. Yes. And and was that against Ashwaubenon, I believe? Uh, East. East. Yep. And uh, you know, the offensive line played well. Yep. Boris obviously had a big game, 286 yards. The pier played and, East real close. And so the defense played pretty good yes. that night. And uh, it's just uh, hasn't panned out this evening. Yep. Well, there's a line drive kick goes into the end zone. Wow, the offense too. I mean, I expected. Yeah. I expected a game. 29, 26, 30 to 28, something to that effect. And hoping South would be the one with the 30, but uh, I, I, I expected a high scoring game, but I expected uh, maybe South to have a few more. And it uh, just hasn't turned out that way. Yeah, for sure. And uh, now De Pere can basically tee off. Prunick in motion, uh, fake the handoff oh. to him and uh, Gunther is uh, torn down after about a two-yard gain. 11.45 left. 9.14 here. We said it, long, long game. Well, that was a two-yard loss, Chris. Boy, I didn't think that happened. Give it to Boris. He bounces around the middle, bounces off a couple of tacklers, and pushes forward to about the 25. 
He doesn't care about the score. He runs hard all the time. He's a lord. Got to mention Coach Tudis. I will maybe mention on defense. We'll say some stuff about his son Riley. Fake hand off to Boris, flip out to Prunick. He's gonna have uh, first down at about the 32. Nice play there. Spotting it at the 43, Chris, that's a gain of eight. You know, South put up a bunch of yards, but it just seems like their drives are always so long that it's just tough to punch it through, kind of like East did against South a couple weeks ago. Give it to Boris, sweeping to the uh, right, oh and he boy. gets hit for a big loss back near the 25. Boy, nothing doing there. Wide play is not getting him much. It's going to be a loss of about eight yards. Said he came in. 13th in the state in rushing, 861 yards, nine touchdowns. Gunther looking over the middle, fires it. He's got Selk, makes a diving catch out over the 40 yard line. Still leading the uh, state in rushing is that Troy Laufenberg. I told you in the last time that Scott Russell. Rice's brother, who's coaching at Wanaki. He leads the state in rushing. Up the middle, Boris sweeping around the end. Bounced it outside, and gets it up near the 50 yard line. Good run by Boris. Showed good quickness that time. Yep. Well, he said that Boris is 861 coming into tonight. That kid from Wanaki, 1,150. Boris is 300 yards behind him. That's a lot. That's <laughs> a lot of yards. And he only leads like by 20 yards. <laughs> Swing pass, look Swing out. Swing pass to Prunick, and uh, he gets ripped down. Good defensive play that time yeah. by uh, DePierre, and uh, the defender that made the tackle is actually hurt. I'll tell you that DePierre read that play. Fels run that play a couple times, and uh, that time, uh, Pierre was there, and this this is not a good situation for DePierre. This kid is hurt. Yeah, he oh, got his leg got. Oh gosh, this was not good. His leg got whipped. This is not good. Well, well, it is okay. Oh, oh, uh, okay. That a boy. Oh, he doesn't look watch any. His, oh, you don't want to see this, folks. Watch his leg. Oh. Crumble there, Patrick Knoll. Oh, you know what I was up. thinking, Chris? He doesn't look any different than me when I get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad to get out of bed every morning. Look out, Gunther! That was a late hit. You got to throw something. The referee is looking right at him. I told you they've been hitting that guy late quite a bit, Marty. I was watching Selk get held down the line. They didn't call anything there either. Oh, man. Woo! Now he's set. Wide receiver out here right in front of us was over the line of scrimmage Self. and bounced back. Uh, Prunick uh, makes the catch right at the 50. It's a gain of seven. Couldn't be any closer to the 50. He's on it. <laughs> that ball is right across. Unfortunately, it's going to set up a fourth and about six, seven yards, Marty, here. And now South has no choice. Exactly. Ristovojevic is a wing back off to the uh, left side. He comes in motion. Going to hand it off. Fake handoff. Gunther looking over the middle and making the leaping diving Miller. catch was uh, Matt Miller. Boy, they got some weapons, Marty. They certainly do. Another country heard from Chris. Here's the replay. This is a great pitch and catch. Nice protection and even a better 
job by Miller to catch that one. Yeah, 25 yard gain. Going deep. Selk. He's got Selk out Touchdown. there. Makes a catch over the defender. Sam Selk on a nice catch. 25 yard touchdown pass. Well, they're showing some spunk now, Chris. Good protection. Right over the shoulder. Perfect pass. Excellent catch. Nobody's on Selk here. Three to the right, one to the left. Hand it off to Boris over nope. the middle. No, he fakes it and uh, he gets thrown down like an old rag doll. Making the play that time was uh, Nick Oafi. Tyler didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Frustrated there again. But. Another touchdown for South, it's just uh, too little, uh, too late. 43 to 19 is our score. Do an onside kick. Might as well. I'm with you. Practice it, so you might as well give it a shot. The only bad part is they kind of know it's coming. But yep. I mean, what are you going to do, right? Yep. They're not defending it like it's going to be an onside, I'll yep. tell you that. They're, they're set for a regular kickoff. They got all big, big Did I ever tell you who my favorite South player is and why? Mason Prunick. He's got the same number I wore when I played uh, high school football, number 25. Banging off a lineman here. Okay, don't. Just hit it out of just bounds. Just kick it out of bounds. Jeez. <laughs> Why not take a shot? Well, I think he was, no, it wasn't really trying. That was something else. Whatever it was, it wasn't good. I don't know what that was, Marty. It didn't work. <laughs> when you get a penalty on the kickoff, it didn't work. Started the game that way. Like I said, I would have given it a shot there. Might as well. What do you got to lose? Exactly. 9.08 remaining in the ball game. It's still uh, 43 to 19. Inside handoff. Not much there for the De Pere running back. Second down and eight. Back to live action. Uh, Kirby. 20. Yeah, Kirby again. Not much there for Kirby. Give him a no gainer on that. Harrison coming in along with uh, Matthew Kittleson. Three deep zone. Jansen in motion, they hand it off to him and he gets tripped up in the backfield. Williams uh, again, I think it was. Yeah, I thought it was uh, Tyler Mason maybe, number 40. But anyway, Pierre will be forced to punt. Their fifth punt of the game. South's gonna get the ball for the 13th time. Wow, that's a lot of possessions. I know you mentioned it earlier, but gosh. Gutierrez dropping way back. Good rush by uh, the Red Wings, but they couldn't get to the punter. And then a very bad punt and a very bad bounce. South is going to have great field position at about the 46-yard uh, line. Well, he followed up his 15-yard punt with an 18-yard punt. 
He's improving. He won't be the fourth ranked punter in the conference anymore. No. I can tell you what that boy's problem is. He's been reading his <laughs> newspaper clippings for punting. Fake handoff, little flip out to Prunick is incomplete. I've seen that play a lot. And I've seen it hit the ground a lot too. Yeah, too much. South quickly to the line. Miller is uh, wide to the right. Harrison in the slot. Selk is at the bottom of the screen. A good shot of uh, Gunther. Ristovojevic has an opening, pulls away from one tackler, and then drags the pile forward to uh, the 45-yard line. That's a 10-yard gain easily. Yeah, let's see if they give him a good spot, Chris. He's going to be just short, ah. actually, of the first down. It's going to be third and one. Williams in the backfield for uh, Ristovojevic. Good Doug block. gets a good chip and another one. And a long another pass drop. goes over the dropped. fingertips. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're right. It was dropped. <laughs> Miller had a good shot at it, but Here's couldn't come up with Watch it. it. In his hand. Yeah, and fourth hands. and one. Well, obviously, you're going to go for it. Ristovojevic back in. Williams back out. Williams did a good job of blocking. He uh, hit that uh, big uh, Nick Olafi twice, actually, on the play to keep uh, Gunther play. from getting hit. Watch this. Tight formation. Hand off to Ristovojevic. First down. Pick up a two yards for Boris. Make the huddle quick go together. Good play. I like that play. Plus, the reason I like it is because they're not in a shotgun where they're seven yards back. It's just three yards back. E exactly. I like that, too. Shotgun's good when you do a lot of passing, but uh, short running plays, sometimes it's a disadvantage. Seen this play before. Prunick can't get away from the three defenders, and they hit him for a three-yard loss. Good pursuit that time by the Redbirds. Yeah, well, they've seen that play, Marty. That time, the only difference was it didn't go left, it went right. Hunter back. It's for Stavojevic, and he's hit right away, and uh, he's not going anywhere. Making the nice stop that time was uh, Sam DeBosch. And it wasn't downfield enough that the uh, lineman had very far to catch up to him. Lineman made that play after the initial hit. Ball is spotted on the 47. That's a loss of one. Going the wrong way, Marty. Yep, right there. Gunther, it's good protection. Trying to go deep to Prunick, but uh, pass was overthrown. And with 5.16 left. It brings up another fourth down play. Selk had the nice fourth down catch before. Yep. Or was that Miller? No. Uh, that was Miller. Yep. That was a beauty. Gunther back looking. Wheel going route. deep to Selk again, but the pass was a little too long. And the pier is going to take over. It's too bad that because Sam was behind him. Sam had beaten the defender just a little too far. Well, the pier's going to get it in a good field position. Not that it really matters that much, Chris. 5 11 remaining in the ball game. The pier has had the upper hand all night. Big plays have been key for them. Uh, and uh, they've rolled up over 400 yards of offense, mostly on the strength of the big plays. Kirby up the middle. Gets good yardage. 
was going to mention Riley Tudis. Riley Tudis, who was a very successful player, all-state wide receiver, as a matter of fact, Marty. He no longer is playing wide receiver. He is now a linebacker, the number one team in the country at Whitewater. Seriously. He didn't start at Whitewater, though, did he? No. I thought he went somewhere else. He started, not right. He did not start at Whitewater. Well, he's a big kid. I can see, you know, and he runs good. I could see where he'd be a dynamite linebacker. Yep. Kirby pounding it to the 40 for a first down. Yeah, Whitewater's on a roll is an understatement. National champions in basketball, baseball, and football last year. First and 10 for uh, De Pere, ball on the 40, clock running, 4-10 left in the ball game. Good job by De Pere. Run that clock. Wait, now you go because the official starts the clock. Good job by Rungi. He's, uh, you know, for a backup, Chris, you'd never know it looking at the way he plays and, and runs the team. Uh, yep. He's, uh, he's a good one. Yep. He's showing good arm strength. He'll be back next year, too. He's just a junior. Emmett Kulik is a good one. Mentioned him. Excellent athlete, but... Uh, they don't skip a beat with number one. Wide receiver shifting from the right to the left. And Rungi, like you said, uh, letting the clock run down. Wait, now he can go. Yep, watch the official as soon as he moves that arm. Start barking out your signals. To Kirby pounding the ball. He's, they don't lose a lot with him back there either. No. And I like the pier here. Why Why would you risk putting Rose out there? Always oh, having a big night. Let's give, keep feeding him the ball. Baloney. I'd keep him on the sideline. He's got his yards. We got this game. There's other games to battle. Well, give some of your other kids a chance. Well, I just... I mean, why know, not, right? Yeah. You're up by 30 points, and, you know, sometimes things happen in these games. You don't need kids to get hurt. He had 250 yards, Chris. Tonight. I would say this if I was the peer. Maybe I'd bring in a third running back, though. Why not? Could also get Rungi out of there. Yeah, that although, too. Although, although he's, he's doing a heck of a job handing the ball off. Yep. I'd take Kirby out here and bring in one of your other guys. I don't... Well... Stathis carried the ball way back in the first quarter, I believe. He's, he's one of the... He's got a couple carries yep. in each quarter, except this one. He hasn't carried the ball yet. Well, they only have three running backs on their roster. <laughs> I thought everybody wants to be a running back. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody trial for running back and then you get stuck on the line? <laughs> really? <laughs> Clock running under 210. Kirby uh, dives inside the 15-yard line. He's going to be short of the first down, but uh, still moving forward. Well, good luck next week, Marty. Yeah. yeah. Hope good things happen on the north side. And then we'll be over at Kohler for their homecoming, I believe, right? They play Oostburg yeah. that night, October 10th. And then, like we mentioned, October 17th will be south traveling up to the north side. Hopefully. Next week it'll be east at north for their homecoming. You're right. Save myself a buck and a half. <laughs> I need a soda. Oh, boy. <laughs> Kirby breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage and goes in from 15 yards out. Another touchdown for DePier. And uh, you know some Chris? This is getting old. Jeez. Well, let's just hope KLC has some players left. Last week when we left that game, they uh, here's the replay. Yeah. KLC, Colors and Christian, and all their skill players taped up, iced up, or on crutches. They got Kirby with 37 yards, Chris, and eight carries. Well, they got to go for two. Or are they going to try? Well, I, you know, if you're going to have a good team, I think you got to have a kicker. 
because you're going to get caught in situations where, you know, a field goal can win a game for you. And if you don't have a kicker that can make something from, uh, you know, the 15 or 20 yard line. And when you're up by 30 points, well, no, why no, not? No, no, I'm no, just not saying that. You I'm just, you know, you, you know, you have to practice the field goal kicking and stuff, but I'm just saying a good team has to have right. a kicker. Because right, you know what else you can do from that? You can fake kick. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do, but when you never kick the ball, you lose all that, all those options. And I know he missed before, but why wouldn't you at least give him a shot now when, yeah. the king, when you're up yeah. by 30 points? Exactly. Which I think they might do. No, they're not. <laughs> Yes, oh, they, yeah, they are. are. Yep, yeah. I would have said, give them a shot now. Why not? Where else are you going to, like you said, practice? You, you might need this later on. Jack Hermson can attempt it. Kick is Jeez, the guy's got a little. <laughs> no wonder they didn't let him kick. They didn't want to lose the ball. <laughs> Jeez, where's that kid been all night? <laughs> Oh, boy. We've spent too many years together, Marty. I know it. Actually, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if we played tennis together all summer. <laughs> oh, boy. And then you let me guard me when I used to play basketball. You always <laughs> take it easy on me there. <sighs> if I don't, I don't get sodas. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, you know, if you drove around me and I was chasing you from behind on a basketball court, it might be a hard fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. 120 left in There's the ball game. Eric shot. Hey, look at those two guys. Who's the bozo on the right? We're with the, all wearing our red gear today. Best shot all night, Eric. <laughs> Keep up the good work. I'm glad you didn't give that task to one of the students. <laughs> Oh, we had a whistle before the kick. The penalty, I think uh, they were offside, the way it looks. I think uh, DePierre has all their second team kickoff guys in here. There's a lot of very white shirts. Well, we got to mention the crew once more. We're getting down to the end. Scott Mailoff is our director tonight, doing a great job with the replays. Richard Bartson running the top camera. Eric Wiesman on the field camera we have a couple of students helping us tonight madison brown and uh tyson reese maddie is a sophomore tyson is a junior and they're in uh, professor mailoff's broadcasting class we're happy to have them on board of course up here in the booth we got chris and mike ball is taken at the 11 yard line by williams Barreling forward, good return by Doug. Boom! Gets it out over the 45-yard line. I don't know, I think that the beer coach has got to talk to his uh, kickoff team. They didn't well, do a very good job that time. They look like a lot of fresh shirts out there. And there's some here as well. Yeah, you're right. And they're going to send Boris out there yet. Uh... So we got Boris still in the ball game along with Gunther. Yep. Gunther well, just a junior too. Yeah, but still. Last. Uh, I want these guys to get hurt. Boris uh, going to rack up some meaningless yards against the third team defense. Yeah. Uh, hard to believe. September 26th, and this is the last home game for South. Incredible. Exactly. Incredible. And off to Boris again. He breaks through the line of scrimmage. He's going to go. He might go for a touchdown. They're going to get him at about the 12. First and 10. Ball spot. That's a 27 yard gain. They got Williams in the backfield now, Marty. Give it to Doug. Pounding it off tackle, there goes Doug. He's gonna go to the end zone, just short. Got it down to the one yard line, give him a 12 yard gain. Good run, Doug. 45 seconds and counting in the ball game. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Give it to Doug. Come on, Doug, get in there. 
He's in. Touchdown. Cutler had it. Nope. Doug Williams never had the ball. Oh. Cutler. I had hate it. that. Cutler. Running down. backs take it all the way down to field in it. Doug on quarterbacks runs it from one yard out. You believe that, Chris? Tyler, we're going to have to have a talk. <laughs> Are they going to kick or no? They don't know what they're doing. Yes, they do. They're just indecisive in doing it. Nick Cooper trotting out. He's going He's to, uh, to do the kicking. All right. Don't call a delay here. Just let it go. Oh, they're going to call a delay. I told you. Oh, yeah. I knew that was coming. Yep. Well. When you didn't have your kicker out there, just call timeout. Yeah, what's the difference, right? And they didn't have enough guys out there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have used a timeout. Here's Nick Cooper. He was leading the band at halftime. Come on, Coop. Get over! Just went under the crossbar. With 39 seconds left, it's a 50 to 25 to Pure. Every child adopted from foster care remembers their one day. The day he first met his forever family. The day their adoption was finalized. More than 100,000 children are waiting for their one day. My one day was happy. Find out more at nationaladoptionday.org. Back at uh, South High School, we have 39 seconds left in our ball game. It's been uh, all to pure tonight. They've uh, played an excellent ball game. They're going to move to uh, four and one in conference and four and two overall. South will drop to uh, two and four and two and three in conference. And uh, it gets a little tougher, Chris, you know, to get in that playoff spot. They still, like you said, need four wins, so they need two more. Mantwalk, Ashwabna North, Mantwalk, they can beat Mantwalk. Get yourself back to the office and get it figured out. Nice catch. And going down at the 32 was uh, Jacob DeMille. Well, they'll take a knee here and be all done, Marty. Big plays tonight, Marty. Big plays hey. for DePierre. Big explosive plays, scoring plays. Too much for South to overcome and a sputtering offense, Marty. They took the first six times South had the ball, Marty, they had to punt or were forced to punt once it went over uh, Schmidt's head. But uh, so the offense didn't get on track till late and the combination of big plays and lack of all early set the table for this one. Just so you understand, that's Chris's wrap up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's over. And it's a kneel down and that'll be the ball game right there. Chris mentioned the big plays. Uh, that uh, was the downfall tonight. Offense was not a problem. They put up 25 points. Boris had over 100 yards again. And uh, defense has got to get it figured out, like you mentioned. Uh, once they do that, they'll be in good shape. Back to the office. Yep, that's the ball game. Homecoming 2014 ends in a disappointing 50 to 25 loss for the uh, Red Wings, but uh, they'll be back next week. Hopefully they can pull off a win at Manitowoc. We mentioned that the Pure is gonna be, uh, is gonna host Preble, uh, but we will be at the Sheboygan North for their homecoming game. They uh, will host Green Bay East. We look forward to bringing you that. For the crew and my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you down the road.